All right, what we're gonna do for the door close script is make a new one of these. So if we reveal it in Finder, we're going to be able to duplicate that and then go in here and retype a new name for this. There we go, door collide close. All right, let's edit it. What's different about door open than door close? Well, this. Just like that. This becomes over here. And now, what I'm going to do is have to say angle open but I want to make it so it's not angle open, less than angle open. I want to make it greater than something else. Now I could put greater than uh, angle close, but what will happen is it'll never solve because angle close is zero. So I have to put angle close minus one okay one less than zero so now it'll it'll see zero as the actual solve for that and that's all what really programming is programming is just the what are you going to compare something to in order to do something once you figure that out you're all the better for it and then you're going to start looking at things a little differently what am I got to what do I have to compare to actually make this happen? All right. So now we need another box. D. And what I like about this, this is a very universal thing because all I have to do is put a box before or after or I can trigger it so somewhere in the room the door shuts. Um and this box is just further back, maybe over by a treasure chest or something and it locks the person in the room. This, this is a great way to make traps. Absolutely great way. Um, there's a thing in the floor. If you go to touch it, if you go over the trap door, trap door opens. Player falls out. Works on the same principle. All right, so this one is going to get removed. It's going to have collide. So same angles. Angle open is still... 90 degrees, angle close is still zero, and you already see it negative 1,000. Okay, door gets popped in there. Just right. It's freaking out on me. There we go. Okay, so let's see what happens. Door open. And you can see, door close yields a swinging door of doom. So now what's going to happen is, you're going to find out that this one's a little harder. Because if I just say neg minus 1, it's not going to work. It's always going to say, angle close minus 1. So, the hard thing about this one is, you're going to have to hand code it or put it as something on the outside to let the user know that it's going to be one less than door close. Okay, because I can put it hard coded in here, but if I put it as an integer in there, I would have to put it somewhere on the outside world onto the actual door or the door close block. In other words, over here, it says zero. Okay, I, I could put something in there in the code that says, well, it can't be zero, it has to be one less than zero. And there we go, shuts the door. Now I can't open it and I'm trapped in the room. 
So I'm going to have to actually put an open block in here somewhere. Now, having a bunch of blocks floating around is probably not really cool. So just when you get done making your blocks, uh, there is mesh render, and you could just turn it off. And that will not affect the ability to collide with it at all. I can still go over there, it opens, and it closes. Okay. Make sure I shut the door there. Now, I promised to show you the other one. Let's say I put on trigger enter here. Okay, now what happens? If I walk into it, it opens a little bit. If I do it again, it opens a little bit. Okay, so I guess it's good for a battering ram maybe, but not very good for anything else. Not for a door anyway. Also, I could code this in such a way that not only does it have to have a collision in there, but it also has to have something on the keyboard. Take, for example, in my previous example, <laughs> let's see, is door. So you can make it so if I'm standing in there and if I got the input key E down, it would open. And you would never need to any of this. As again, raycasting is good, collisions are good. But this is a great way to teach students like why you could use both and how you can use both. And there is no right or wrong answer to just about anything. It's just how you're going to do something. All right, so turn in your um, examples. You know, I want you to take and make this a little bit better, though. Um, you know, now that you really looked at uh, the code and everything else, I would say, what you're going to turn in is not only this door that opens, but I also want a cool trap door in the floor that opens when you go over top of it. Okay, and that that would be really sweet, and it'll show me that you know angles a little bit better. So what you would do is make a door in Maya. You would off cast the door to the side with the the pivot, and you could even make both prefabs there in Maya side by side. And then you would have to judge the angle open, angle close, and what it's going to rotate. I guess that would be a good way to apply your knowledge. So that's it. For this lesson, I want you to make this door open with a collision. And I want you to make a trap door in the floor somewhere. All right. Enjoy and have a good one. And until next project.